Okay, so um, so obviously normally I, I get you to choose a card like this, yeah. uh, but but you can't. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to either just name a playing card that you see, or okay. just uh, say stop for me, whatever okay. you like. So I just go through the cards, and then just really quickly, if you say stop, or just name a card that you see. Okay. Stop. There. You go. Yeah. Do you want the four or the five? I'll have the four. The four. Okay. Watch this. So what we'll do is we'll take the four of clubs just like so. And what okay. we're actually going to do is we're going to lose it about halfway in the pack. So about okay. there, okay? Now, uh, tell me, have you ever seen a trick? What the magician does, he takes a pack just like so. He actually snaps and every single card goes blank. So now when I go through the pack, you should hopefully notice every single playing card is actually blank other than one card. It just happens to be your <laughs> card, the four of clubs. Um, what's actually really what cool is if we can take your card just like so. We can turn it over and it goes blank as well. So now all we're left with it's blank cards. Do, do you know what? I watched I, I watched videos before this. I was like, I'm gonna see if I can get him out. And I watched videos of like <laughs> top, like tricks that magicians do. And that's mental. Very much. That's sh Wow. I mean, if this isn't the best podcast I've done, <laughs> that that's well, insane. You, um Thank you very much. if if that trick hasn't impressed you enough to go and check out his channel, then there's something wrong with you. So obviously, uh, I'll link your channel in the description and obviously up uh, on a card uh, and the end screen. Uh, have you got another one or? Yes, yeah, I, I should go for an, another trick. Okay, so for this one, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, um, I'd like you to imagine a pack of cards, okay? Okay. Okay, and I'd like you to go through that pack in your, in your head mm -hmm. and I'd like to choose one card, okay? Don't tell me what it is, but I just okay. want you to picture one card, okay? okay. So, I'd like you to, in your head, take that card out of the pack. Yeah. I'd like you to flip it upside down. So now you can see the back of that playing card and you can see the faces of all the others. Okay. Okay. Now, square the pack up. Yeah. Okay. And for the first time, what card are you thinking of? King of Spades. The King of Spades. Are you sure you can change your mind if you want? <laughs> I saw you do this to John on History. No? And I, I'm, not having it. I'm, I'm sticking with, with King of Spades. Watch this. Look, inside the pack... You should hopefully notice every single playing card is face up, yeah? Yeah. Other than one card. Now, how impressed would you be if that one card is your card, the King of Spades? I would think you are actually Ron Weasley. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> how do... What? That's insane. Thank you very much. Well, that is mental. Okay, so this is... Um, so all the tricks uh, I've performed, I also did perform on the, um, on the, on the, um, the stream. And this is this is my favourite one I've found on the stream. So okay. if that's all right, I'll do that. Uh, do that one. So uh, this is actually not just um, it's not just a magic trick. It's a bit a bit of a story as well. Oh, okay. And it's about about the time uh, I was in America. I was with my dad, and a busker came up to us and he said, mm. "Can I make a can I make a deal with you? Can I make a, like, a little bet?" And me being me, I, I said, "Yeah, of course you can," because I thought I'd catch him out, and uh, I didn't. But um, this is so this is what he did. He, he showed me. Showed me some cards. He showed me a blue diamond. What he did was he placed it in his mouth and he showed me another blue diamond. Okay. And he showed me a red diamond. He said the red diamond okay. is the one I've got to follow. Now, while he was talking to me, I noticed he took the red diamond. He actually placed it to the bottom of a pack. And when he asked me where it was, I said, it's obvious. It's, it's at the bottom. Yeah. He said, no, it isn't actually. That's a, that's a blue diamond. That's one dollar you owe me. I was a bit confused. And he, he said, uh, where is it? I said, well, if it's not on the bottom, it must be on the top. And he said, no, that's actually also a blue diamond. That's uh, $2 you owe me. He said, where is it? I said, well, it's either on the bottom or the top. It's definitely not in the middle. He said, no, actually, that's where you're wrong. It is in the middle. That's uh, $3 you owe me. Uh, I was a bit confused. I was a bit annoyed. So I said, well, you don't have a red diamond. He said, no, I do. It's at the bottom. That's $4 you owe me. He said, where is it? I said, you just showed me it's at the bottom. He went, no, it's not actually on the bottom. It's actually on the top. That's $5 you what owe me. What's going on? He said, where is it? I said, it's either on the bottom or the top, but it's definitely not in the middle. And he said, no, no, it is. It is in the middle. That's uh, six dollars you owe me. I said, "Well, you've got more than three cards." And he went, "No, I don't. I've got one, two, three cards. That's seven dollars you owe me." As you can imagine, I was really upset at this yeah. point. And he went, "Do you know what? We'll make a deal, okay? Double or quits. I've got a blue diamond. I've got a red diamond. What's the final card?" And I said, "Well, knowing my look, it's probably a blue and a red diamond." He said, "No, it's not. It's just the fourteen dollars you owe me." What? What have I just watched? That was insane. I was watching your hands the whole time. I was like, I will see this sleight of hand somewhere. <laughs> that, was, that was insane.